Another very important uh, model of reflective practice is Kolb's reflective cycle. Um, it's a very popular model. Um, you probably already know about it. Um, what Kolb is talking about is a, um, a cycle which is based in experience entirely. In terms of this model, there are four main components, and um, there's a, a, a diagram to illustrate this. The four components are concrete experience, reflective observation, abstract conceptualization, and active experimentation. So the experiential learning cycle is made up of these four components. And we can look at them in a little bit more detail to try and understand what each of these four components are. Um, you can see in this diagram, concrete experience is about the teacher trying to describe and explain what happened. And from this, this leads into reflective observation. This is the first reflection. Um, why did that happen? And why did it happen that way? This leads into the idea of abstract conceptualization. Or in other words, what can I learn from this? What does the theory tell me about what happened? And how can I mix the two together? And from abstract conceptualization, this leads into active experimentation. Or in other words, the teacher put it in, putting into practice something um, in order to change the situation. And of course, from active experimentation, we get more concrete experience, which again leads into the cycle. So concrete experience is um, very often seen as the starting point when reviewing the cycle. Although, um, because it's a cycle, the teacher can actually enter at any particular point. For example, the reflective practitioner could start with abstract conceptualization, which would lead into active experimentation and then concrete experience. Um, but concrete experience gives a very hands-on um, starting point for the teacher, very practical. Um, and although um, the model, as I said, um, uh, can be entered at any point, concrete experience for the teacher is a very convenient place and a very immediate place to start the reflective practice process. Reflective observation is that first level of reflection. Um, initially thinking, well, why did ha that happen? Trying to understand the concrete experience, trying to rationalize it. Um, and it also gives the teacher that point to stop and to think. Um, with this model, there's no reflection in action and no reflection on action. There is just observation of the process that took place. Um, and then this leads into abstract conceptualization. A little bit of a difficult word, but in principle, very simple to understand. It's trying to understand what has happened in relation to theory or to what the literature is telling us should be taking place. Um, and therefore, it's making a cognitive connection with the practical experience. Um, it is looking for connections between theories, actions, feelings, um, and all the experiences that happen in the classroom. And of course, with all of these cycles, we see there has to be some action uh, involved. Otherwise, reflective practice um, has no point. And so in this cycle, we can see that after abstract conceptualization, the teachers move into a process of experimentation. Um, experimentation suggests more than action. It is about trying something to see if it works. It might fail, um, which is why the cycle leads then back into concrete experience. So the whole process is, again, more of a spiral rather than just one cycle. Um, the spiral means that the cycle is continuous, never-ending.